So in this problem, we are given three forces, F1, F2, and F3, and we have to find the resultant force of all these forces, and we have to also find the direction angle of the resultant force. So this is the free body diagram. And first, uh, we have to resolve the, all these forces into its perpendicular components through which we can find the forces in the vertical as well as in the horizontal direction. In case of force F1, we have only a horizontal force in the positive X direction, which is 900 Newton. And in case of the force F2, you see that it makes a angle with X axis. So we have 750 Newton force with force 45 degree in the horizontal direction. So we get 530.33 Newton. And in case of the vertical direction force, we have 750 multiplied sine 45 degree, uh, which is, is equal to 730.33 Newton. And in case of the force F3, uh, in case of horizontal direction, we have 650 multiplied 4 over 5 which is, is equal to 520 Newton. And in case of the vertical direction force, we have 650 Newton multiplied 3 over 5, which is, is equal to 390 Newton. So you see, in this case, we use the force component. And in this case, we use the sine component. And in case of the resultant horizontal force, we can add all the forces in the horizontal direction, which is 900 Newton force, which is the F1 force, 530.33 Newton force, which is the F2 force, plus 520 Newton force, which is the F3 force. So we get a resultant horizontal force, which is 1950.33 Newton. And in case of the resultant vertical force, we get 140.33 Newton. So, we have to find a certain force of all these forces so we can take the magnitude of the horizontal, resultant horizontal and vertical force. So, we get 1.96 kN or 1955 N. And in case of the angle of the resultant force, we can use tan inverse MR which is the resultant vertical force over fr x, which is the resultant, uh, this is the resultant vertical force over the resultant horizontal force. So we get 4.12 degree. 